Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pure Pack here on the Kplex server. Uh, we are back, and we are going to do some more blood magic today. Yeah. No, that's all iron. That's not blood. It's, it's a shame. It's red like blood, though. It looks nice. Maybe we'll keep some molten iron here because it looks like blood. Because I don't have blood in here yet. I kind of want to catch a witch and put a witch in here. And then we can just have a constant supply of blood. Coagulated blood. But we don't need to worry about that right now because we have other ways of getting blood. Namely, our altar. Um, but blood is not what we're going to be obsessing over today. No, today instead we are going to be worrying about demon will. Uh, namely, and collecting demon will. Ooh, I got an upgrade. So, um, yes, I figured out on this armor... Um, re after reading in our, our book, um, apparently, the more I do s I do stuff, and it will upgrade things. Um, at the moment, I have quick feet level 1, and I almost have strong legs, and apparently I just acquired another upgrade, which is probably has to do with mining, um, but it doesn't uh, update um, correctly. Uh, these just popped up when I logged back onto the server. Um, after the last recording, so probably when I log off and log back on, this will update and it will tell me what I have, or after it um, increases some more. But basically, you have to do something so much, and uh, the numbers tick up, um, as you can see on here. I keep wanting to point at the screen, but you guys can't see what I'm pointing at, so, but um, you can see we got 100 out of 100 for quick feet, and 93 out of 100 for strong legs, and quick feet is a speed modifier, uh, strong legs is a jumping modifier. At the moment, I can actually jump um, one and a half blocks. Um, I'm kind of hoping that uh, once I have it completed, I'll be able to jump two blocks. But if I can't, one and a half blocks is still pretty nice from time to time. It means I can jump over stuff like fences and different things like that. But, yep, so we get different stuff uh, just by doing different things. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I can repair the armor or not. I haven't found that. Um, I'm hoping that we'll get, maybe we'll get uh, mending or something when this upgrades. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take off the um, the modifiers, which you can do. You can take off the modifiers using a ritual, um, and that's how you get uh, all of these things. And then you can combine them to make higher tier ones and do a whole load of different stuff with them. And it's pretty cool. So I'm going to be wearing this around for a little while, uh, getting upgrades for it, seeing how we do. Um, if it comes to the point where it's getting really low, I may see about removing stuff or doing whatever. But um, So yeah, that's what I figured out on this. But um, And yeah, but today... Today, we are going to be making a demon crucible and a demon crystallizer. Um, because I want to start getting demon crystals, because that will advance us further into blood magic. So the first thing we're going to do is make a demon crystallizer. I have um, almost a thousand will in my gem. We're going to be using up some of it uh, in order to make these things, but that's okay. Because I want to make these to advance further, and hopefully by making these, I'll be able to... Um, get more will faster. Uh, so we're going to need, um, I believe we can use just any stone. Um, if I click on it in here, it actually shifts through. Yep, so we can use pretty much any stone, any glass, lapis, and a hellfire forge, which is a load of iron, some gold, and any block again. So uh, let's go and gather that stuff up real quick. So I'm going to need nine iron for the block, two for the crafting, one gold, um, and then we're going to need a lapis for the other one. And now I've got lots of this diorite, so let's use some diorite. So four and then one. Actually, we'll use one granite for the ac for the um, actual crystallizer. Um, and then we need uh, any block of glass. So we've got some different colored glass in here, so... Um, let's just take the magenta glass. We'll use that. All right, so uh, first thing we need to do is cr to craft uh, our forge for this. There we go, Hellfire Forge. 
and then we put that in, we put the stone in, we put the lapis in, we put the glass in, we put our gem in, and this should make us our crystallizer. Uh, yep, fantastic. And that used up 100. So the next thing we need to do is make the crucible, which is the diamond, a crucible, stone, and lapis. Easy to do. So let's grab this stuff real quick. Um, we need a diamond, we need a lapis, uh, we need a stone, and we need a crucible, so we need another seven ingots. And I need one stone, we'll use some more granite, because I don't really use granite for anything. Uh, we need to make a crucible, done. And then crucible, diamond, lapis, stone, and gem. And this should make us our demon crucible. All right, fantastic. Uh, so after reading up on these, um, how it appears, you know, uh, we'll keep that spare just in case. Um, so how I believe it works is we put the crystallizer down. So let's put that here. And then this should just make crystals if there are enough in the chunk that we are in. Now, it's hard to say how much there is in this chunk without making the aura guide, but we need some demon will crystals in order to get that. So, we'll put that down. We put the crucible down, and what the crucible does is by, if I right-click on it with this petty tartaric gem, um, I'm actually going to jump into my map and hide this waypoint real quick. Um, find on off. There we go. All right, so if I right-click on this crucible with my petty soul gen, it should go inside, yep, and then it should be releasing the will into the air, into the chunk. So that should work there, and actually, um, there's a button to show what, oh, wait, actually, I can just look on the map, can I? Um, yeah, so this is all one chunk. This should all be one chunk there. All right, so that should be releasing Demon Will. Uh, it did release all of it. Um, I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. The crystallizer should just work. I'm not sure if I actually have to do anything with it. Um, in order for the Demon Crystallizer to work, it must be in a chunk with a high amount of Demon Will, 80, of, the, of a particular type of... Um, and after a certain amount of time, it will consume the will from the aura in order to create a demon, a demon crystal cluster with a single spire. With a single spire, um, there are two types, uh, two ways for the crystallizer to work. If it can form a crystal from an aspect type. Uh, any of those, uh, if there is enough will of that particular type. Or it will take raw will from the aura to create a crystal. From the area to create a crystal. Then it will, gen then it will generate a crystal from raw will. There is a small chance, 40%, of, for, the form, for the formed crystal to be of one of the aspect types, especially if that, if this is how you can initiate gather and different types of will. Okay. This is how we gather the will. So I guess we just kind of have to let it sit over time. Um, I suppose I could put some more will into the air. I don't want to drain my gem because I worked hard to get it up. Uh, we're at 720. Is that actually putting more in? If I let that sit for a little bit. It is not putting more in, actually. Okay. So it is probably full of... We probably are full of aura, so I just have to let that sit. So hopefully now, over time, that will form up into... Um, we should get a crystal forming in here, hopefully. As long as this is working correctly. So, that is that. Uh, demon pylons. Alright, so. Um, but yes, this is how 
you're supposed to create these demon crystals. Um, do, do, do. These are the chunks. Where are the other ones? Here they are. So these demon crystals are what should um, form. Uh, and then we just need one, um, one demon will crystal in order to form. And then we can uh, continue crafting. So um, this is another thing I was interested in making, the sentient armor gem, so that I could make... Oh, wait, hold on. Sentient armor gem. What's the difference between that and the demon will aura guard? The strong device that can measure. Oh no, that's the well. This gem is what makes the um the armor gem. So I can actually make this um right now. I believe I have a lesser tartaric gem. I have obsidian. I have armor. So let's make the sentient armor gem while we are. Oh look, never mind. Look, a crystal. Um, I'm not sure. Demon will crystal crystallizer. Do we have to break it with a pickaxe? Oh. And there we go. We got our first demon will crystal. Awesome. Fantastic. That is awesome. Just in time, too. So, uh, instead of making the sentient armor, let's go ahead and make this. Um, we need any glass, gold, and redstone, and our will. Uh, a demon will aura gauge. So this will allow us to measure how much will we have in our chunk. And that is what I want. So we need a redstone, we need a gold, um, and we need some glass. So let's take the light blue glass. And let us make this, shall we? So crystal, glass, gold or redstone and gold and then we go ahead and we put our common tartar gem in Whoop. and we have our demon aura uh our demon aura gauge fantastic so up oh, and it has already shown up so um a strong device used to measure demon will in area so if i'm here and i move to another chunk does not seem to really be changing. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Let's look, let's read it up on it real quick. Uh, in order to tell how much will you have to give you have in a given chunk, you need to blah 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 blah. Um the chunk five bars on the top left corner of the screen you can tell how much there is um, exactly by shifting numbers will appear uh, to right uh, to the right of the bar okay so there is zero of everything in this chunk what happens if we come over to this chunk still zero of everything um there's exactly numbers appear on the right the bar near so uh, nearest to the whole rounded to the nearest whole number so we have no will in either of these chunks um, that is unfortunate but we have our aura gauge now and just having it in my inventory works awesome so we got that little nifty thing up here in the er, uh, upper left corner so if I we've got a couple more chunks that I can check out so there's nothing here Whee! Um, so if I come up here and I do this, nope. So I don't know if I expect there to be will in any of these chunks. Probably not. Um, ooh, an upgrade has been acquired. Uh, still doesn't tell me what we have and what we don't have. So uh, again, I'll have to wait on that. Now let's get the Eldritch Bow out, which is an awesome loot that I got during the dungeon raid. And shoot you. Do do do. And grab some will from you. Where's my gem? There it is. Alright. Uh, so it looks like we probably don't have any will anywhere around here. Get away from me, Gru. Um, so... Let's go ahead and test this out then. So I have my gem, and if I go and put it in the crucible, at least for a little while, we should potentially see 
the amount of will going up in uh, our area. And just to make sure that uh, it doesn't just feed directly into the crystallizer, I think we'll break this. And now if I put you in there, so we're at 691.88. Uh, 691.88. So I put you in there. Up, oh, and we got 100 that quickly. And now it's up to 5. Yep, so we got 100 regular demon will. I can put you down. It will drain out of the 100 and create another crystal that we can then use for crafting. Awesome. Fantastic. This is really cool. I'm really, really enjoying this stuff. I've Honestly, I've never come on into Blood Magic before, and this stuff is really neat and interesting to get into. It's awesome. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I might have broken a torch. Yep, I did. So I kind of want to um, uh, redo this whole basement area because while it's nice and um, cavey, uh, I kind of want to make like a secluded uh, blood magic area, which we do kind of already have, but I mean like actually like hidden, hidden blood magic area because this is nice, but if we like close off, like build a wall and like close this area off and then like have just, like just a workshop down here because we got our machines down here, just build a workshop and like maybe storage area down here, um, then we could do that and that would be pretty cool. But I haven't decided yet. Oh, and there is our next crystal. Looks like it uses 100 will per one of these, um, which is okay, I guess. It's not great. It's not ideal, but it works. And now we have another demon will crystal. Um, and I believe that means that next time we'll be able to make the next level uh, blood orb. Uh, that's gold. Uh, no, we need blood shards in order to do that. So I'm going to have to look into how to make blood shards. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I know how to make demon will crystals at least, which is nice. Um, I will have to be gathering a lot more demon will. So I think what, I'm, what will probably happen is I'm pretty sure um, I'm probably going to make another sentient uh, sword. And I think if I can get looting on it, it gives a bonus to, um, it'll give a bonus to the crafting, crafting? No, to the, to the, um, amount of soul that we get when we kill something. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, this is kind of hearsay on my part for this, but it might be a thing. Um, and if it is a thing, I definitely want to use it because uh, having looting on the sword and being able to get demon will a lot faster would be really, really awesome. Um, and yeah, so uh, I think that that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. We are coming up near the end of the episode, but we're not quite there yet. So what I'm thinking there isn't a whole lot more we can do. I do really need to figure out the blood crystal things. Um, does it say blood crystal in here? Uh, the demon pylon. We can make one of these. Uh, as you know, demon ore remains in its own chunk if there are not any outside influences. Well, this is one of those influences. The demon pylon acts as a beacon for will, pulling the will from nearby chunks. These chunks that are directly next to it in the four uh, cordial directions, not diagonal into its chunk. The pylon will amplify, will um, attempt to equalize the will in its chunk with its near neighbor so that the pylon's chunk has as much will as its highest neighbor for each will type. Uh, this process will happen one way, however, if the neighboring chunk has less will in it, 
then the pylons chunk and will may not transfer uh, the other direction. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. I might look into making one of these pylons, um, but that's going to be for a later time. Uh, we are coming to the end of the episode, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. We got some stuff done, got our first crystals, and we are c working on making other things. So I'm going to continue uh, probably just trying to get some more will, maybe see about getting looting on one of these swords, but we'll have to wait and see about that. So um, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching, um, and don't forget to check out everybody else on the server and Go ahead and check out the Discord as well. See all the stuff that's going on. And yeah. Uh, anyway, guys. Like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.